Hi, I'm Charlie Love, and today I am going to show you in this Chrome Enterprise tutorial how to report on Chromebooks and Chrome OS devices using GAM. And this is going to be just a really straightforward tutorial about how to use some of the reporting tools from GAM to list out your Chrome devices and to be able to query query on those devices. But also I'll show you where you can get a little bit more information, stuff that's not in the GAM wiki, uh, about the fields that you can use as part of your query and just kind of the general structure of the uh, API calls that are used by GAM. So let's get started. So the command we've got here is gam print cross and then we can do a query and I'll show you in a moment where to get the query fields that you can use. You can order that by location or user or last time synced, the serial number and if you bought your devices directly from Google the support end date and then you can have that ascending or descending and you can send that listing to drive, print it to the screen or you can pipe that out to a text file if you need to as well. Um, you can do all the fields, which is a huge listing that will tell you everything about processors, processors and cores and temperatures, and the whole range of stuff. A full listing or a basic one. I tend to use the basic one in most cases, uh, but we can also add fields to it if we need to as well. Um, you, can limit the, you can limit the number of items on the list and yeah, then you can customize the field list that you have. So a straightforward command would be gam print cross basic. This will list out all of your devices with a very basic listing. Next command that you could use perhaps, let's say we want to find all of the Chrome OS devices that have been used by a specific user. So we could do gam print cross basic, then query, and then we can do recent underscore user, put in their user's email address, and then we can say we want a field and I want to know the time ranges. So I say fields, active time ranges will give me the information about that user and when those that user was using whichever devices were listed up. So when I query for that specific user, the recent user is Ben at demoworkspaceedu.com. When I query for that user, I get back the information here, which shows me the ID for the device and then I have the active time ranges. Um, what I've got here is a, time, a date, the active amount of time, the active date. So you see that date is the 16th of November. I get an active time range duration, which in this case is eight minutes and 30 seconds. And then I got an active time range minutes, which is eight minutes. And then I have the, the, the user, the annotated user the device is registered to, and then I see when the device was last synced and the serial number for the device at the end with its at current active status. So if you want to find out more about the fields that you can use for your query, you can drop into the API commands to see them. So I've opened up the Workspace Admin SDK, the directory API, and here I can see for Chrome OS devices dot list, which is the API command, I have these fields that I can search on. So I've got the asset ID. If you specify the specific asset ID, the last time it synced, the date registered, so it'll be register, and then that particular date format. The MAC address of the device, that might be useful if you're investigating activity on the network. Uh, if there are any notes associated with it. A serial number, notes called an ID here. Uh, the status of the device. Uh, the user, that would be the, the user that enrolled the device. Uh, or you could look for the MAC address as well. And your time formats are generally base, they're basically that kind of Linux time format. So you've got your year, month, day in terms of that format. So the second command we're going to have a look at is GAM print cross activity. And this one you can, you know, just as before, you can add a query to that. You can print it out to drive. You can show the user, the times the various users were using your devices and you can specify a date range. So if you want, wanted to review user activity, so the next command we're going to look at is print Chrome OS device activity. So with this, we can print out which devices were being used, which users were using them, 
um, and we can do it over a particular date range as well. So if I just want to get a very simple listing of all my devices, all the activity that's recorded, and I want to save that to a sheet and drive, I would just do GAM print cross activity to drive. Uh, but if I wanted to maybe do something a bit more nuanced, I just wanted to get the activity for my users with a start and end date, I would use this command, GAM print cross activity users, start with the start date, end with the end date, and then I could pipe that out to a file in this case, and I just say activity.csv. So that's a really quick demo of what you can do with GAM around Chrome OS reporting, looking at Chrome OS devices and user activity. Hope you found that useful. I'm Charlie Love, and thanks for watching this video from Apps Events and Mason.